today gonna start off with the NYX Angel Primer and I've been using this for a while now and I actually love it it's just really nice and smooth I'm gonna talk more in this video just purely because my parents are away for the night and I feel like I can talk more openly when they're away um, and I know that no one's listening so that's pretty much why I don't normally do talkative videos that much anymore because I just feel like people are listening and I don't like it. Right, let's go in. I don't know where to do the eyes first. We'll do the eyes first. Yeah. So we'll take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and then just prep my eyes with it. Get rid of those bags. Get rid of those bags. So I won't catch you guys up too much in this video because I'm basically doing the makeup look for the video that I'm doing and putting out first. So you already know by the time you watch this video where I've been and what I've been doing and just basically a good old catch up. Awesome. That makes such a difference just concealing your eyes. I got so bad dark circles. So yeah, so that prepped the eyes, so let's start the eyeshadow. So I'm going to take the B&H Cosmetics Kali Bybel palette, and this isn't her new one, this is her one previous to that. And this is pretty much, every time I go out for a meal or anything with my friends, this is pretty much my go-to palette, just purely because I don't want to be just like plain Jane natural makeup that I wear every day when I go for a meal. I just want that extra little bit without looking too drag queenish. So I'll take the first shade. Oh my god, I'm looking backwards on my mother. I'll start with this shade here, which is just the white cream shade, and basically just go all over the lid to prep. Or set that concealer so it's just like dab and this would just make your eyeshadow more intense if you set your concealer or set your eye primer even cool so what I'll do is I'll zoom in now so you can see what I'm doing so okay so I'll take the this shade, which is like a light brown shade. This one, yeah. So I'll take this one, which is the light brown shade that's in it, and then just work above, top of the excess, and then just go above the crease into the brow bone and just gently wind wipe motions. Don't go too hard, just always just buff it in, just for that definition of the crease or the lid, for sure. And then you can always go back in if you want the extra. Awesome. And then just to go a bit darker, I'm going to take this end shade here, this end shade here, which is kind of like a dark purple. Take that one and then go along to my world. The crease lightly draw. Don't worry too much if you get only on the lid, it's just a rough idea and then we cut the crease with some concealer. Then I'm going to go back in with the shape tape. I'm 
And then we're gonna take the shimmer shade. Okay, so I've done the other eye and I've also done my eyebrows. I haven't filmed that, but if you would like an eyebrow tutorial on how I do them now, because I do them a different since the last time that I showed you guys, comment below and I'll do that for you. Um, but I have used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. Pomade? Pomade. Um, it is a shade too dark for me, I would say. So let's carry on with the eyes. So I'll go back in with that brush. And again, this is just like a Morphe brush, but um, it come in a pack, so I don't actually know what it is. Now let's take the purple shade that we used for the crease, and then we'll go underneath the lower lash line, just to smoke it out and balance it out. This always makes me cry. I poke myself in the eye so many times. Should we do some eyeliner? I'm gonna do some eyeliner. Um, I'll just use, as I'm doing this kind of live, I guess I should try and get this on point, but I am rubbish at winged eyeliner. It takes me forever. So if I fast forward this, or don't put it in at all, yeah, you know why. <laughs> so, yeah. So this is the, sorry, Kat Von D tattoo liner in Trooper. Like, I feel that some people are literally just born to do wing eyeliner and I am not one of those people. And then I normally just get a wet wipe and clear it up to make it more crispy. looking guys probably should have put it more at an angle but <clears throat> okay after like five fits and redoing it probably six times I have oh my god done it but it's still not good again oh. are you even a girl if you don't throw a fit if you can't do your makeup right no, you're not. Lights, camera, lashes by Tarte. I really like this mascara. I use it pretty much for work every day, but I do find that when you nap, it falls off. But you're not supposed to nap in mascara, so yeah. I always find that my Code Beautiful VLM mascara, when I nap after work, after wearing that, that doesn't fall, it literally just stays on my lashes. So True Match Foundation, my everyday foundation, and I love it, super affordable, and it blends lush. Again, I think I wear the wrong shade, because I think as it's been um, sunny, even, I think where it's been sunny, I, I've been wearing the, I've got, I think as it's been sunny, I've basically caught the sun and I think I'm in the wrong colour. But, nah, not too bad is it? But I don't know what is going on with my skin the last couple of weeks. It's either the gym or the weather. Or a mixture of both, but yeah, it's not been. Or maybe it's hormones. Maybe it's because I'm due. Due for that womanly thing. I don't know if it's a good idea that I talk in these videos because I practically just talk about rubbish. But you see some of these beauty vloggers like Laura Lee, and she's literally just like, bam, she's just can just talk and you can just sit there and be like oh my god like you're, you're actually talking to me but I think people are just gonna be like grey shut up okay so go back in with the shape tape get that highlighter on girl it's a little 
little speckle speckle. I just think this video is going to be like so much longer than what I normally do. Because I like to keep my video short, like no longer than 10 minutes. Because I get bored, so people must get bored as well. So I'd like to keep it under 10 minutes, but I feel like because I'm talking, it's going to go over. So now I'm going to go in with two sleek palettes that I use pretty much every day. So I'm going to use this sleek makeup. Can you see? Yes. Sleek makeup. Um, contouring and blush palette and I'm just going to use this in oh, light and I'm just going to use the blush as you can see I don't hardly use the contour and I use the highlight a lot but I'm gonna oh my god get used to that so I'm gonna use that blusher now just to sprucey sprucey I love a lot of blusher I just hope it makes you look so like fresh or embarrassed, <laughs> evil. And then I'm gonna go in with the Sleek Makeup Solstice Highlight Palette. I'm just gonna take this nice shade here. Ooh, yes. that glow my mum literally said um, when I post pictures it looks like I've got snot running down my nose because I put highlight here and every time I post a selfie of a makeup look I get a text from her even though she's two seconds away from me she does text me and say Grace it looks like you've got snot running down your nose you need to stop with whatever you're putting on your face you know what I say Highlight is life. Highlight is life, Ginge. And then just to complete the look, I'm gonna use my all-time favorite, the NYX NYX. The NYX Intense Butter Gloss in Trelech. Trelech, Trelech. And I just love this. And if I don't talk, I can apply it, all right. Voila! I'm just going to do my posy bit now. So, yeah, thank you for watching my Get Ready With Me video. I hope you've enjoyed it and enjoyed hearing me talk rubbish but I hope you did enjoy at least the makeup look give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed that makeup look don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you leave and I'll catch you guys next time bye